welcome. This is a tutorial on how to do a hairstyle that is period correct for the American Civil War, the early 1860s. This is a pretty easy hairstyle to do, and if you know how to put your hair in a bun and already have the stuff around your house to put your hair in a bun, then you can do this hairstyle. So here's what I'm going to do to get started. First, I'm going to do a center part, and this is something that probably 99% of all hairstyles during the 1860s would have started with is a center part. Um, if you see a side part, it's very unusual and it's usually to like cover a scar or something like that. So you want to start with a center part. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is about halfway back my head, I'm going to do a side part down to about the top of my ear. And you can do this a little bit further forward, a little bit further backward for me. This gives me a nice amount of hair to work with right here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, bring it down to about the top of my ear, and I'm going to comb this part forward and comb this part backward. Okay, I'm going to comb it backward all the way around. You can use a hairbrush if that works better for you. And then first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put that back hair into a bun. I now have two front sections of hair and one back section. This back section, I'm going to use a hairbrush and you can use whatever works for you. Um, I'm going to use a hairbrush to put my hair into a bun in the back. At this point, you might want to use a ponytail holder. In my case, I don't really need a ponytail holder. I can just start to twist. And what works well for my hair is I use these little bitty clips and I um, get them the same color as my hair and I can kind of bury them in my bun so that they don't really show. And then I'm going to show you how we can hide these later. So at this point, I'm going to start twisting. And as I twist, I can kind of bring my hair around and then I start putting clips in it to hold it in place. And you can use bobby pins. You can use um, more period correct hair clips, uh, tortoiseshell hair clips, whatever works for your hair. My hair is very fine and slick. And so I have to use these clips. I also have layers. So I have to use these clips to really hold everything in place well, unless I just put tons and tons of gel and hairspray and that sort of thing, which you can do uh, if you really want to make sure that every piece of hair stays in place. Okay, so I now have these two front sections and I have a bun in the back. I'm going to take the front sections. I'm going to start with this side here and I'm going to be pulling it away from my face. So I want to comb it back nice and smooth and then I'm going to twist it. And you can twist it really tight, really loose. Again, a lot depends on your own hair and on the look you're trying to achieve. Now, if I twist it down really tight, in my case, my hair line is far enough back that I look kind of skinned. So I actually will twist it a little bit looser um, so that it just looks better um, with my hairline. So you do whatever works for you and whatever your hair will um, cooperate with. And then I go ahead and finish twisting all the way to the end. And then I'm going to take this end and I'm going to wrap it around the bun. And this is one of those things that will help hold the clips, uh, or rather help hide the clips. <laughs> I'm going to take the end and I'm going to use a couple of clips to kind of batten it down and tuck the end inside the bun. Okay, so that's one side. Going to do the same thing with the other side. Comb it away from my face. Get a nice, smooth... And then I start twisting and twist it all the way out. And then I'm going to cross it over the top of the other one, bring it around, and again, use a couple of clips to secure the end and tuck that end inside the bun. Now you can see they have covered up the clips just a little bit, the, the twisted hair has. And if I'm going to be doing uh, an evening, uh, doing my hair for the evening, then I will also add some flowers and ribbons and uh, things like that to help cover up those clips. If I'm going to be doing an everyday hairstyle and I don't want to put anything in my hair but just have a bare head, then I would do a lot better job of hiding all of those clips. Or I might go ahead and switch over to bobby pins so that they don't show. 
Um, another way that you can help hide if you have to use something that's not quite period correct is um, a ribbon hairnet and you can just do a plain hairnet or you can do one that's um, decorated like this one and I go ahead and put my hands into the net kind of pull it out and I start from the back and bring it forward and then I adjust it to where it lays nicely and then usually I'll put a, a bobby pin or two on each side just to kind of anchor it in place make sure it doesn't slide off the back of my head and so now I have a nice everyday hairstyle. And uh, like I said, if I'm trying to do something for evening wear, then I can tuck flowers into my bun um, and I can put flowers across the top of my head and do a lot of uh, cool stuff. So this hairstyle is very flexible. You can do it for every day. You can do it for evening wear. And it works for just about any hairstyle that is shoulder length or longer. Now, I twisted my hair, but if you want to, you could actually um, this this little side piece you could braid it instead now they did not do um, French braids during this time period so uh, when you see the French braids that's not really period correct but you can start that braid pretty high up on your head if you want to um, and that can depending on your um, how thick your hair is and all that that can help add just a little bit of height or a little bit of width to your hairstyle uh, just depending on what you're trying to do so I'm just doing a real quick and dirty braid here to give you the idea, but you can take that braid then and do the same thing. You can wrap it around the bun, and if you have really long hair, that's fun because you can wrap it a lot of times around the bun and do some pretty exciting stuff um, with your hair. But this nice um, center part, the two front sections, wrap it around the bun, and you've got a period correct hairstyle. Thanks for watching.